Welcome to the Great Exodus series, God's plan of rescue for his children. Let my people go, the path to Mount Zion. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation. And our topic today is James, the brother of John, a symbol and pattern of martyrdom during the seal tribulations. James, the brother of John, who was with Peter together at the Mount of Transfiguration, when Elijah and Moses appeared together with Jesus, is a symbol and pattern of the martyrdom that was talked about in the fifth seal, when you see the martyrs under the altar. James himself, in his life, was beheaded and was also one of the first martyrs in the history of Christianity. He is the great symbol and the great pattern. That's also the reason why you see him at the Mount of Transfiguration. You see Peter, who represents the rock, the tower of the flock. You see John, who represents the harvest workers the 72,000 and the 144,000 later in the trumpet period, and you see James representing the murderers under the altar of the fifth seal. Now, you have a choice in the seal tribulation, either to become a murderer if you stay in the world in your careers, in your old ways, and the Antichrist will take over and will introduce the mark of the beast. If you stay with the Lord, and you refuse the mark of the beast, and you are still in the world and in Babylon, you will be murdered. You will find death. That is also a way to reach paradise as a murderer. Yes, you are reaching paradise. At the same time as the ones who are patterned to John, who are the harvest workers who will bring in the wheat harvest, the harvest of the ages, into the barn of the Lord, who will be standing alive at Mount Zion, will be ruptured. You both will reach paradise. But God says, I want that you live. I want that you fulfill your destiny on earth. I do not want that you be murdered. So come out of the world and come out of Babylon. The Jezebel spirit, the false teaching, the false churches, the wolves in sheep clothing come out and gather in the harvest. How do you do that? You establish a dwelling place of Zion, society of the rose in your neighborhood. And you gather the assembly together, a company of 50 people, not more. And then you teach and train them and send them out into the field to become harvest workers of the Lord to bring in the wheat into the barn. And all the dwelling places in the world, maybe 36,000 or even more than that, are doing the same task, the same deed that you are doing, bringing in the harvest. And that will lead to the multitude closed in white. At the base of Mount Zion, at the six seals, it will be ruptured into paradise. The ones who have the palm trees in their hands and who are praising the Lord and who have made their filthy garments clean in the blood of the Lamb. And you can choose either to be a murderer or to be alive at Mount Zion and bring in the harvest. But if you want to be alive at Mount Zion, you have to come out of the world and out of Babylon so that you separate yourself from the peace system, from the Antichrist system, so that you are not falling under the question, do you take the mark or not? Because Antichrist will not come to you and will not reach you because you have separated yourself. That's a way how you make it alive and how you bring in the harvest. Of course, Antichrist forces will try to find you, but you will be covered by the Lord. As he has stated, you will be covered by a cloud and smoke by day and by a flaming fire by night. Nothing will harm you. You will be protected and provision will be given to you because you are doing the work of the Lord. 
bringing the swords back to him, gathering the multitude clothed in white. You will bring the people to Mount Zion, to the holy mountain. You will place them onto the righteous narrow path, and they will repent and change their life and clean their garments to become white. You have a choice. Either be like James, what is our topic today, and to be a murderer in the world, or to be like John, what is our topic tomorrow, and be a harvest worker, and, and you will not taste this until you will see our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, as promised. So it's your choice. Choose wisely. Both ways will lead to the rapture, both ways will lead into paradise. But the Lord asks you to do his work and to gather in the harvest. And to do that, you have to be alive and not murdered. I hope you have understood this topic. And I hope you understand that we are now at the sealed tribulation time period and that the Antichrist will come for us very soon. Please make a choice. Serve the Lord with all your heart. Come together in love, unity and support. Establish a dwelling place of Zion. Establish a society of the rose in your neighborhood and gather the people together. Then go into the neighborhood and bring in the harvest of the ages. That is your destiny and your purpose on earth. And you are just one step away from it. So join us. If you have questions, send them to me at triplegrace55 at gmail.com. Start now and establish a society of the rose in your neighborhood. Come together every day. Separate yourself from the world and from Babylon. Take love meals together. Empower yourself. Gather the assembly together, 50 people, in one dwelling place. Teach and train them. And then go with them together in the neighborhoods and bring in the harvest of the Lord. Thank you that you have listened today. And I hope I will see you again tomorrow. May God bless you and your family abundantly. Have a great day. Maranatha.